Welcome back to Sarah P. Thanks so much for tuning in today. I am going to be showing you how to do my Jeremy Scott inspired nails. I love these nails. I saw it on a jacket. I'll leave a link to the jacket below. I think it's referred to as his French fry jacket because it looks kind of like a little graphic French fry. But to me, it was just an awesome graphic print. I love it. And obviously it's got black line work, so that works for me. Um, it's actually a super, super easy design, which is great. I had it saved in my folder of inspiration for nails for quite a long time, and I finally decided to do them, um, I think a few months ago. And they were actually really, really popular on Tumblr, and that was super awesome. So I decided to make a nail tutorial for it. Before we get into the tutorial, I'm actually going to show you what we need really quick to create this design. First thing you're going to need is your favorite base coat. Whatever one you want is fine. Second thing that you're going to need is a yellow polish. This one's by Dazzle Dry. I love Dazzle Dry. As you know, I have another video on it. And uh, this color is called Sahara, I believe. Yeah. So any yellow that works for you that's really bright and fun. The other thing that you're going to need is a orange nail art pen. Uh, this one's really bright orange. I don't know if it's picking up true, but you'll see it in my photo of the nails just so that you know the exact color of it. But it's just really bright. The two colors go really awesome together. I love them. Oh, there. Now it's picking up true. Um, I love them together. And if you don't have a orange uh, nail art pen, don't worry. You can just fill it in with nail polish or acrylic paint um, with a paint brush. It will be a little bit more time consuming. Um, so keep that in mind. But it doesn't mean that you obviously can't do the design. This is just way quicker. And back to my trusty fluid acrylic. This is golden fluid acrylic. I love fluid acrylic because you don't have to add water to it, but you can use regular black acrylic paint, or you can even use nail polish. It's your preference. And lastly, you need a striper brush to do the black awesome line work. Whatever one you have is great. Um, this is just a cheap one. So yeah, that's all you need to do the nails. Now let's get to the tutorial. I started off by painting all of my nails yellow and letting them dry completely. That way if you make a mistake, you can just take some alcohol and clean it off and start over. Um, but you gotta make sure that your nails are completely dry. So yeah, then I put some black paint um, on my striper brush and I just wiped it off a couple of times on the edge of the plate. I put my paint on a plate by the way. But yeah, I just wiped it off a couple of times on the edge of the plate um, just so that I knew I was getting a nice clean black line. And if you get any on your cuticle or anything like that, seriously don't worry about it because that all can be cleaned up at the end. And I started every nail off kind of with the same main design in the middle and then I just built off and freestyled from that. And I'm just basically doing a combination of the exact same two kind of french fry looking things. One has um, the square on the top with the, so you start off with a smaller line in the middle and two longer lines on either end of it. And then you create a square on the top or the other design that I'm doing obviously has been the um, line in the middle and two shorter lines on either side and then you just connect them like that so I hope that makes sense I know it's a mouthful but um, yeah I just use the combination of those two and then just kind of freestyle from there and on my pinky the last one instead of making the french fries come from the bottom or from the top I made them come from the bottom of the cuticle Now I'm done the black outline and it's time to fill it in with the orange. So now you take your nail art pen if you're using one and like I said you can totally use a small paintbrush and some orange acrylic paint or nail polish but honestly a nail art pen is just so much easier. And I just took the nail art pen and just randomly colored in um, half of the squares and I just did it kind of wherever I felt like it wherever I thought it would look neat and for the ring finger I actually decided to switch it up a bit I just thought it would be more interesting if all of the um, nail was colored around it orange after you add the orange that is it now just add a top coat and you're done 
that's it guys so easy and such a cool effect these are one of my favorite nails that I've ever done I just love the print so much and I'm really happy that Jeremy Scott created that coat otherwise I would have never had the inspiration I'm sure a million nail artists get their inspiration from um, patterns on clothing because it's just some of the prints are so cool and there's a never-ending supply of inspiration from clothes so thank you Jeremy Scott and thank you so much you guys for watching I really hope you like it and if you do like it please Please leave a link on my Facebook or my Twitter or something because I would love to see you guys do it. Thanks so much for watching my mom's Jeremy Scott's video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment. See you next time. Bye!